Welcome to another edition of Northern Heat. My name is Robert Lennon, President of Thermalwood Canada, and host for the show. Today, we have two special guests. A few weeks ago, we talked about international students coming to our area and going to Bathurst High. Well, now we really have the two students here. So let's give me an introduction and where you're from. Yeah, I'm Kyra, and I'm from Turkey. I'm 17 years old. Perfect. <laughs> me too. I'm from Brazil and also 17 years old. All right. So we have Brazil, we've got Turkey, and there's a whole bunch of other uh, students from different parts of the world. So I'll start off with you. So came from Turkey. What was the uh, decision-making process to get you to decide to come to Bathurst? Yeah, so I had choices of five countries, which were Canada, America, Portugal, um, China, one more country I don't remember. And then um, I thought, yeah, I'm going to America. <laughs> but uh, my family was like, maybe Can Canada is better. So we chose Canada and then they wanted me to choose a province. Um, I had the choices of PEI, um, New Brunswick and Toronto. May I thought Toronto would be good, but then they were like, New Brunswick is way safer and we would like to send our high school students there. So I chose New Brunswick and then it turns out that I start at Bathurst. Yeah, well, that's good because we did talk a little bit about that too in our interview with David. You know, it was part of that a lot of families feel comfortable because they feel safe in New Brunswick. So it's it's interesting that you mentioned that. How about yourself? Uh, how did uh, you come about or your parents come about deciding to bring you to Bathurst? Uh, Canada have always been in my family. Um, when my mother was one year, I think, my grandparents went to here to study and they brought her. So I think it's, uh, I don't know, it's a thing in my family. Uh, we valorize Canada and because of that, uh, I think I, it would be nice to come here and have uh, experience too. Um, the province, I had to choose, and I, I, by the pictures I saw and the, the comments I saw about the the provinces, I, I thought New Brunswick would be nice, and the city I didn't choose at all uh, was a random selection, but I'm like it so far. I don't regret mine. Okay, so interesting on how you chose to go through because there was a family tie you had no family ties to uh to the area to the side so what's uh what have you found so special or what have you liked since you've been here because you told me that you've been here since september and you only came in and in, uh, in january so uh you've got a little bit more time uh spent in here so you've seen a little bit more of the different seasons yeah. and uh but what is it that uh, you like so much about uh about our region I take some time for that. Um... Big question, right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I mean, like, I just... At first, when I came here, it was so different because <clears throat> the population, the way that the houses are and, like, the gardens. And first of all, you have a lot of space. Like, just everything is big and you have space for everything and where my city is like very crowded and like very like so what's the population of the city you come from 20 million so whoa yeah, yeah. and yeah. we complain about bathers being you know fourteen thousand and some <laughs> population and here you are with uh 20 million yeah i couldn't imagine that so it's 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 a lot <laughs> it's a yeah, lot it would definitely it's be a shock chaotic and like when i first came here i remember just being alone for the first time in the house and it was like like I was just sitting and I was like, why it's so quiet? Like I was only hearing birds and stuff. And I was like, wow, like, you know, the nature is amazing here. Like it's beautiful. And the winter is very different. Like I've never seen this cold in my life. And, but I, I like it, like a lot of snow and you get to experience a lot like snow sports and stuff. So I like it. So That's did, what they, I like, I think. did you go sliding or skiing or course, anything like that? Like I've never done skiing in my life before. But I've done it so much now that I just enjoy it. Like, I, I love it so much. And well, I, I, I got a chance to do it a lot of times here, so. Good. So you wouldn't have seen too much snow in Brazil either, right? <laughs> no. I'm from the southeast, and it's quite warm, a uh, coast area. Our winter is 26 degrees, maybe, the summer 
35. So when I first arrived here, it was like just shocking to me and I love it. Like the first time I saw snow uh, was when I was driving from um, Mountain mm -hmm. to Batters and was everything like white and like I love it. Well, you say you love it. I love snow too. But there's a lot of people out there that just cannot stand seeing all that white stuff. But it is what it is. But again, it's an experience, right? You had never seen it and never played with it. So what else was it that was so special about our, our area that you've had to, things that you might have experienced during this uh, short period of time that you've been here? Um, besides the, the winter activities, for sure, that I like it. Uh, I think the place itself betters. Is really green and wide. As I said, there's a lot of like um, open space with no people at all. I'm not from a as crowded city, but I come from a city, a, a crowded neighborhood, maybe. And there's sometimes I hear that I don't hear anything at all. Like I think this is also nice is a good place to live yeah well you know again that's interesting right because you're looking at it from a different set of perspectives you come from 20 million and, and what was the population where you're from um four hundred thousand maybe yeah four hundred thousand that's half of the population of our whole province by the way uh so you know I can imagine that, you know, silence is, is, is something that's, uh, that's good. You know, you don't have the hustle and bustle and, and everything is all tied in together. So what are some of the other things that you did at the school? Were you involved in the, in the plays and stuff? Yeah. You were involved? Yeah. You? Yourself? Uh, no. Okay. So how did you like that? I was both in drama and musical. It was just, it was incredible. Like, just, you we practiced so hard and like we put so much time and effort in that in both of them musical took way longer than drama but yeah like and then after you just get to like show it to everyone and a lot of people came to support like we reached more than 2000 people and it was just like every night was so incredible and yeah and all the process and we have incredible teachers and we have incredible students and we have really talented people in our school so it was very amazing to be a part of it so people showed up and stuff but you guys are hosted right in 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 homes and with different families how was that experience for you cuz you left your families back home do you have brothers and sisters yeah and how about you i do have but i don't live with them okay so how was that living with somebody else and how and and the the host families that you were with what what was that experience like i mean like it's very different because like you come from a, like across the ocean and like there, there's a random stranger you started living with and <laughs> it's a different culture too right yeah it's a very different culture i mean i got to meet with my host family kelly <laughs> <laughs> uh, like a month before i came here and like i would talk to her once a week and we get along well and yeah it's just family dynamic is like more different here and and pets like pets are like very important in the family like they're seen as a member and you don't really have pets in Turkey I would say like it's not this common because every house at least have one pet and that's very different for me yeah, yeah. again something that we would have known right how about yourself how is life in the host family? Um, I come from a small house. Uh, I live only with my father and my mother. So when I first arrived here and I discovered that my house have seven people besides me and two dogs, two cats for me, like, it's a totally different experience. I'm never alone at home and there's always somebody to talk with. And yeah, my host family, it's formed by my mother, my host mother, uh, her son, and his girlfriend. Yeah, his girlfriend. Uh, the grandma and two other international students. Uh, I think we get well. Everybody get good together. and So you're uh, in the middle of exams. You just started today. 
And so you got another week or so before you're done? Yeah. Okay. So then you're both going back home? Yeah. And you have plans for the future. So let's talk about you going back home. What are you going to miss most about Bathurst? That's a good one. I mean, the people that I get to meet here, mostly, I would say, and especially my international sister mm -hmm. uh, that I get to live with. She's from France, and I, th I think she's, I will miss her a lot because, like, she's now my sister. So, yeah, she's going to be back in France. I'm going to be back in Turkey, and it's, it'll be difficult to see her. So. so not only have you built relationships with your host family, you built relationships with some of the other international uh, students that were in the same boat that you were in, you know, learning and getting used to a new culture and, and, and everything else. It's, uh, it's interesting how it goes. How about yourself? What are you going to miss? Um, I think what I will miss the most is like the school environment. I think it's really nice. First of all, the school is free. The bus is free and there's everything prepared for the students. Uh, if we had any difficulty, we can go to the guidance, go to the principal and they will solve things for us in a moment. And besides the sports activities, uh, there was a basketball team, there was a volleyball team. You can participate of everything without extra fees. You don't have to pay anything more. Um, and yeah, I think I'll also miss the, the city itself. It's a really charismatic city <laughs> um, and comfortable place to live. Well, you know, it's interesting that you say that because when I grew up as a kid here, there wasn't a whole pile of stuff to do. And when uh, I graduated from school, from high school, I said I'd never come back. But here we are, you know, many years later, I did come back. And I'm really glad that I did because the, I wasn't seeing what the city had to offer. And when you come from outside, you do get to have that opportunity because you're coming from outside. You're looking at everything else because it's all different. And so if we can all do that and all look at it, we'll really recognize what we have to offer. And so that's interesting. So I hear that we're not done with you. You're going back home, but you're coming back uh, to, uh, to go to university here. And you're considering coming back to university also. Actually, I got accepted already from UMB. Uh, I'm just trying to get a nice scholarship. I think uh, that the most thing that is, is between me and university here is the the scholar fee. But hopefully, I'll get uh, get scholarship. So, what do you think uh, thinking of taking? Uh, first, I pick economics. I thought it was going to be something nice, but after uh, the teacher convinced me that science would be better in something that I really uh, enjoy. It's, yeah. And do you want me to ask you the question? Yeah, okay. <laughs> what are you thinking of doing? <laughs> We're back to this again, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, so I don't really know, but right now uh, my schedule in St. Thomas is showing psychology and UNB2, uh, and I'm just waiting for my answer from NBCCD. If I get accepted, I can just go into arts. You will see. Well, listen, I appreciate the fact that both of you came in here after you did an exam today. I'm sure that was a little bit of stressful uh, time there too, but I'm glad that you came in. I appreciate the fact that you came in and shared with us your thoughts about the region and what you've seen that was so different and what you liked about it. That's very much appreciated. And I wish you both the best of luck in your future, the best of luck at UNB or at St. Thomas, wherever you decide to, to go. And uh, hopefully that uh, you keep in touch with the people from our region and you come back to visit us. And uh, we'll keep our fingers crossed that maybe you decide to stay and live here someday. <laughs> Perfect. All right. Thank you. Good. There we are. Another edition of Northern Heat for this week. The place you come to listen to the stories that haven't been discovered yet.